Hello there, Megan Bartley coming to you from my car. Why? Because I spend a lot of time in my car and I bet you do too. So today's theme is about nurturing and self-care and doing things that you love. One thing that I love is doing yoga. Now, what I also know is that when I do too much yoga, I feel like I'm forcing myself to do yoga because I know that it feels good, so I might as well do it. But what I notice is that when I do yoga, when I really feel like doing yoga is when it benefits me the most. So I have noticed that for me, if I go to a class once a week, sometimes it's every other week, depending on how my schedule works out, but I give myself that time, it's maybe an hour, hour and 15 minutes, that I am solely focused on myself and I'm solely focused on my body and feeling good in my body and trying to do new things or stretch myself a little bit further or, you know, it's not, I'm not in competition with anyone else and I'm not really even in competition with myself. I'm focusing on what is my body able to do right now, today. So what I'm able to do today might be different than what I did last week. Maybe it's not as far as I went last week or it's a little bit farther. So what I noticed though is about how, for me, that's a very nurturing activity. So I'm wondering if you have certain nurturing activities that you do or you can be paying attention to, things that you enjoy doing, things that bring joy to you that maybe you smile or you get excited about doing. And maybe there it maybe we're starting small. Maybe it's, you know, you have a favorite coffee or a favorite tea or something, a favorite scent, you know, like if you love your perfume or you have a essential oil that just smells so good. Focusing on things that bring joy to you, that are pleasurable to you in an easy, simple way. So when we are filling ourselves with things that feel good to us, we tend to keep attracting things that are, that feel good emotionally. So, and when we're focusing on our body or our senses, that is even a better way to step outside of our thinking brain and be more in our sensory brain. So, um, you know, focusing on your smell, sight, taste, touch, and um, hearing. So uh, be thinking about ways that you can nurture yourself through your five senses, things that you enjoy doing, and bring a smile to your face. And notice uh, the more that you do that, and maybe it's just asking yourself, do I really want to do this? Do I really want to help out at my kid's school today? Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. I'll check back in tomorrow. Or, you know, do I really want to push myself and work that extra hour tonight? Or do I just want to go home and relax? So be noticing how you're either pushing yourself a little too much, forcing, or you're allowing yourself to focus on yourself and to choose yourself and to do things that are enjoyable and nurturing to you. So I'll be in touch and I hope this soothes you.